Ricky. Alola, everyone. It's the Munch here with Dan. <laughs> and welcome back to the Pokemon Sun and Moon Egg Lock, Cage Lock. We are atop of Mount Lanakila. You're inside the center, but I'm a little bit chilly outside here because today is the day we are finally taking on Alola's Pokemon League. Oh and this is goodness. super duper exciting. So if you guys are excited, make sure to show your support. Hit that like button because this is it, Dan. This is it. The final stretch. Are you ready? Man, I'm ready. Let's run through our teams really quickly before we uh, jump into the hecticness that is. Uh, That's right. Now we, we did grab some heart scales as well, and we did use some heart scales for some of the Pokemon, so keep that in mind. It's not anything against our rule set, and you have a new member of your team as well. So, yep. uh, I'll got, I got my, I'll go quickly. I got Rakisha. Nothing's really changed. Don't forget, Rakisha does have health items and a free revive, the only Pokemon to have a revive mm, left. That's true. Uh, I've got Cha-Cha here, which I do have the different Nectars, so I can change Cha-Cha's form throughout the Elite Four, which is definitely going to give me a bit of an advantage. I've got Elsa here, same moveset as it's had pretty much. Eugene, I did teach Psy Shock to over uh, Grass Hammer or whatever it's called, Wood Hammer. Oh. Um, <laughs> I've got N here, who has the worst move pool ever, so I taught it in U-Turn and Night Days with Hard Scales. And we've got Cat, who has Wood Hammer as well now over Shadow Sneak, as that is a uh, hard scale moves. So. I did not know it could learn wood it hammer. It could learn wood that's hammer. That's pretty so crazy. I figured that was kind of a cool little addition there. So. All right. Well, I my I do have a new team member, but my team itself didn't change too much. I got the nasty plot on Kurama. I feel like that might be kind of helpful. Maybe definitely set up a little bit of special attack. Sky attack though on Nimbus, which I feel like is going to be pretty helpful against a certain elite four. Though it is a two-turn move, and I'm a little worried, but it'll be all right. We got Darwin. Nothing new there, I guess. Uh, Nautilus actually did get power whip which I think will also be super you powerful. You could use the Grassy MZ and then you don't have to worry about missing the Power Whip oh, too. Oh, you're I know you're right. worried about missing Power hmm. Whips, but... So you can switch it depending on who you're yeah, facing. Yeah, That's what yeah, I put. I'm sure. definitely switching my Z move depending <laughs> on who I'm facing. But look at that attack stat, dude. It's insane. Same with actually Iron Giant. 160 the same, attack right? there. We got the uh, Earthquake and Hammer Arm. Those are two new attacks I got with the Heart Scales. And last, but certainly not least, Ollie or Oli, Broly, Poli, Oli, the Wall Rain, who's got the Blizzard, so hopefully I can get some of those off with the uh, Snow Warning Ninetales there. Um, and it does have Crunch, which will also be kind of helpful against a certain Elite Four. But that's it for our teams, Dan. That is it. It's time, man. For Did this you get potions? LP, man. Yeah, I am definitely <laughs> stocked up. I'm not pulling a bunch this time. By All the right. way, there's can, a can cool take little a picture shot here. there. Yeah. <laughs> not going to do it right now, though, because it is time to it head on time. up. And we do have a question of the day for you guys today. What has been your favorite moment of this Let's Play? Here we are, 31 episodes in. We've got just a handful of episodes left. Hopefully we can make it through the Elite Four. Our plan right now is to do the Elite Four, uh, two members in one episode, two members in the other episode, and then the finale. Hopefully we can get to the final, uh, the champion, whomever that might be, and the final cage match to determine the winner of the Let's Play, and that is when things will finish. So you can let us know what your favorite moment of this Let's Play has been so far. Do you have anything that stands out in your mind in terms of your favorite moment thus far, Munch. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this LP has been an emotional roller coaster, <laughs> both for me and you, but my myself losing so many Pokemon, <laughs> I gotta say, uh, what, the best moments for me are whenever I can take down a trial, man. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I can beat a po totem Pokemon, especially that Mimikyu, actually. That, oh, was that like, one definitely was the destruction oh, of your man. team. So I'm going to say that was uh, that was my hypest moment for sure. All right, man. For me, I would say it was that moment where we had we had traveled so far to get our ice stones for our two icy friends. Oh, and we were yes. able to evolve them at the same time. I thought that was really cool. And they are still on the playthrough. The longest lasting member was Jet, and Jet hasn't made it. But I think we need to walk through this door together, my friend. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So I like it. We are going to just challenge the Elite Four in whatever order we feel. Uh, I think we agreed that we were going to do the same first person because we thought that was the best for our teams. But four. <laughs> four trainers. Everything it comes back to bit. four. Uh, but we're going to do it in whatever order we want. So uh, I may end up doing a different one than he does. But we're going to do two per episode, basically. So yep. Sounds good, it, man. Kikui. Let's do it. Oh, I'm really nervous. I have a strategy. I'm going against the flying one first, though, because... I have an extra life on Golem, so I really think that that could be useful. And I've got Stealth Rock, and I kind of want to use that. Yep, so. I'm going <laughs> for the same as well, because I do have, like, 
two Pokemon, actually three Pokemon that can deal with flying types. So I feel like this will probably be the easiest. Yeah, definitely but best to go time. easy to hard because you want to get any levels you can get um, earlier on because obviously, you know, the harder ones are going to be harder. So the, yeah. I can tell you the, the person I'm worried most about is like, I really am. I'm actually worried about Olivia a little bit and uh, I definitely have my concerns over um, just the champion if, if there is a hmm. champion, you know, but... I'm thinking if I should lead off with Darwin, maybe, or just keep the Kurama up first. I think that'll be all right. We bring out the snow warning. I'm just going for it, man. Blast the ice beams. I'm, I'm going to go for it, too. Let's do I'm it. I'm pretty sure I have Golem in the front. If I don't, then I totally messed Her up, Her name guys. is Kahili. She is definitely a golfer. I don't know what that has to do with flying Pokemon. <laughs> like, well, what, so what is I, the correlation of golfing and so, flying So in Pokemon? golf, uh, there's things like a birdie, there's oh, an eagle. Oh, that's true. So all these different terms that are related to, to flying types. I, that's oh. the only thing someone commented that on, <laughs> on a video because I asked the same question. Oh, no. That. She starts off with Skarmory. Are you kidding me? I totally should have let off with Darwin. <laughs> Oh man, and it goes for spikes too. Uh, I went for stealth rocks because uh, it's 25% to every one of our Pokemon when they switch in, so I figured that could be pretty useful. Pretty good strat, man, that you got the the stealth I, rocks I in the first place. It. I saved it for this. Man, I totally wanted to teach one of my Pokemon rapid spin too, but I don't think I did. Um, so that would have been pretty helpful. Maybe, I guess we gotta make it there, but there is our final grand cage match if we manage to make it all Ooh, the way through I the Pokemon nice League paralysis too. There. It's pretty good stuff, man. I really hope he... Oh, of course he steel wings. <laughs> In the face of a nine tails, he's not going to set up spikes. <laughs> I go for the uh, the rock polish here. He just keeps spiking in front of me. He's got three layers of spikes out, which is really annoying. I think that equates to about 25% of my team's health that gets taken away every time I switch in. Uh, so they definitely uh, even the playing field here with my stealth rocks, but I'm just glad they didn't full restore the Skarmory because that thing has sturdy, so it can be kind of annoying. Yeah, I actually got the hail to get rid of the sturdy for me, oh, so that was nice pretty strategies, helpful. nice strategies, <laughs> bro. Good, good call, it was all planned there. out. All planned out, Good guys. Call. That's definitely bold strategies, man. Ooh, all right. I don't know about this Oricorio though. Let's see. Here comes a Mandibuzz that uh -huh. I have to deal with. Man, this this is the time when I really wish I still had a uh, Itmar, who unfortunately died last episode. In case you guys missed it, somehow, somehow, how took down my uh, Agron, and I feel like that would have been a really good Pokemon in this entire Elite Four run here. And oh my goodness, the Revelation Dance is coming out, dude. This is your cha-cha right here. Dude, this thing is using Bone Rush, which is like a four times super effective move against me, all because I missed a Stone Edge, which is really annoying. Hmm. I at least hit this one. Um, and it doesn't even kill. Oh my god, if this thing gets four turns of Bone... Okay, I went for Punishment. All right, I was a little worried there. Wow, that's doing so much, though. This is not as easy as I'd hoped against this Mandibuzz. Definitely There's not. There's the full restore. Definitely I expected not. that. And here comes a Teeter Dance. Wow, that's annoying. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have just... Uh, Stayed in on the uh, Jolteon now. He's gone for a discharge or something. But oh man, I'm debating what I should Whatever. do. I think it's time for the. I'm just gonna bust out my Electrium Z right now. I just gotta get rid of this Mandibuzz because it's it's becoming a bit of a problem for my team. I see you got this Oracorio teeter dancing, so you gotta deal with some lucky ducks right now, man. Yep. You feeling lucky? Yep, I'm feeling pretty lucky, man. I mean, I do have not really a duck, but some kind of bird out here as well. So. Maybe that's helping me out against a Kahili. She doesn't want to attack it. She like feels too bad for the Altaria. <laughs> Oh man, I busted out my first Z move of the Elite Four, the Gigavolt Havoc. And that is definitely gonna kill yeah. that Mandibuzz. Nah, the, the Thunder Punch looked like it was just gonna be a oh. tiny bit short, so. Okay, well I know she's about to full restore, so. Uh, I just really hope I break out of confusion here. That would be really helpful. It looks like this Oricoro can't do anything oh, to Altaria though. Two cannon. Nice, snapped out. I don't know what to expect from a two cannon right now. I know one thing you can expect. I, I know think, one thing I can expect too. I think you know what it is, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not really concerned about it going for... I don't think it's going to use it against move. Rakisha though, yeah. I just don't want it to go for like a bullet seed. Ooh. Which oh, it there has! It is. There it Rakisha, is! Rakisha, I need you to tank this Rakisha. That's a skill link too. That's gonna hit. No, I don't. Oh think no, is it not? Link, is it? I don't know. I don't know if hers is, is that or not. Skill link. That's so OP, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is wow. gonna be skill link too. Or maybe she's actually getting lucky. I don't. Wow. Oh my goodness. Rakisha. Dude, that is powerful, oh, man. Oh my goodness. Come on, Nimbus. Bust through that confusion. Yes, dude. Right. Nimbus is doing awesome with All the right. lucky duckies. I, I love go it. Into Elsa here. Critical hit. No. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that HP. Is that even an HP bar right there? Look how much <laughs> I take from spikes. Oh, that hurts. Here comes the bullet seed five times. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's that's strong, dude. I didn't think this Rocky thing had of that, there. dude. Yeah, I had to get Rocky Sh out of there, but that's really I think it scary. has Rock Blast as well, so it definitely must be skill link. Yeah, it's hitting five times both times, so. Oh my god, this does so much. 
Another full restore for this lady. I love it. At least she used both of them up already. All right, I'm playing it safe here, and I'm using a hyper potion right now to find out what uh, this thing's going to do against me. Ooh, this is tough. She's actually, her air slashes are hurting. Kind of wish she would keep going for Teeter Dance, not going to lie. Oh, um, it went for Beak Blast. Okay. Oh, man. But that's okay. Is I it, though? I can take it. Is it, though? Yeah, and I don't get burned unless I make contact with it, so that's the good thing. There's a Teeter Dance for me. All right, I'm going to Ice School Crash. There's a beat blast, but I don't think Icicle Crash is a contact move, so I'm pretty sure I just one-shot this thing. Oh, man, I don't know what I'm going to... I think I'm going to cool. go ahead and switch I got rid of here. two cannon, at least. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of this uh, Oricorio, but I know the Revelation Dance like hurts so bad, but I don't think it's going to go for it now. Hopefully it air slashes. That would be ideal here. Oh, Teeter Dance again. All yeah, right. Here's the Oricorio for me, and I got to figure out how I'm going to beat this thing. <laughs> I think as long as I can bust through the confusion, I can probably take it out here. So come on, Darwin, get through them lucky duckies. All right, the revelation dance, it's definitely gonna hurt. But if I can get through the lucky duckies, please Darwin, just once, yes. All right. I'm gonna trust in my cha-cha here. Cha-cha, let's do it. Did let's you take out the two cannon at least? I did get the two cannon. It went for revelation dance. I wonder if I get to copy its dance. Oh my god, that's so much. Oh yeah, you do have that ability. Oh, oh yeah, dude, buddy. that's so cool. Get to bust out my own revelation that dance. That is awesome. Gotta love it, gotta love it. What that the, Alteria learns Moonblast? Oh yeah, because it actually, it's uh, it's mega evolution. Is, it's uh, very, yeah, but I didn't know that it learned oh, it. Oh, I skillfully huh. dodged the feather dance. There you go, man, that Pokemon refresh coming in hot. I don't know if I want that, though. Moonblast? I would say over Hyper, over Hyper Voice, yeah, over right? Hyper Voice, I guess so. Yeah, because the special attack drop, and it actually does more, because Hyper Voice isn't getting stabbed, and now there it is yep. Moonblast. So that's the way to go. I'm All right, well, back. here comes the crow. I don't know what the heck this is going to have. Um, I don't know what to I guess expect. I'll just heal up. Yeah, I have no idea, dude. This is definitely nerve-wracking, though. I'm going to heal up, too. This is it. I just, like, it's sinking in for me right now that this is it. This is the final challenge, man. Poison we just got to make it through this, it for. and that'll be it. That doesn't do too much, and I didn't get poisoned, so that's good. Super Should I risk the thunder? For. Okay. If I go for the thunder, it'll one-shot it, but maybe discharge would, too. Let's just go for discharge. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> That's what we always say. Oh man, I'm just dodging supersonics all day right now. I love it. And I get to go for my fire revelation dance. It just looks like it's gonna pick up the kill. Oh, Chromat's the last too. It, I didn't it survived. It oh, I just dodged so many supersonics. That's awesome. Pokemon refresh coming in clutch <laughs> right now. Coming through, man. All right, I did stock up on full restores though, so I can definitely right. do up that poison. I got through Kahili, my friend. I'm almost there. That was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. That was actually really scary. I think every battle from now on is going to be a little bit nerve-wracking, oh at least. Oh, gosh. And don't and forget, guys, like... The Supersonic. Any, any Pokemon we lose throughout this Elite Four here, that means the final cage match, you're at a disadvantage. So it's incredibly crucial to not only try to get through the Elite Four, get through the, the champion, but also keep all your Pokemon intact for the final cage match. So Not just the cage match, but the Elite Four itself, I feel like, yeah, is really tough. Yeah, you need all tough, those Pokemon. So. We're, I'm gonna. I'm definitely trying to keep them all alive. The champion as well, that's going to be super tough, whoever he may be. Oh, so man. I'm trying to keep all my buds alive. I think I'm at through. Yeah, two more Pokemon for Kahili. And next up is Mandibuzz. Uh, I don't know what this thing has actually, but I'm gonna totally try to Thunder. Apparently I've never fought one before because it doesn't show me that this is super effective. Yes, Darwin breaking through every confusion so far, dude. I love it. The Teeter Dances do not affect me today. And the Paralysis too. Yo. Very nice. Uh-oh. Here comes a Brave Bird though. I don't think that's gonna hurt too bad. But it could always surprise, and not too bad, okay. Okay, that's good, the recoil damage too. All right, I think I should have this Mandibuzz, but I am a little bit worried about the two cannon because I know it's got that Z move. I don't think it'll do too much against Darwin though, so I think he can stay in here and probably take him on. All right, I'm swapping my uh, Z moves here on Rakisha, giving it the Rock uh, Rocky MZ, um, and I am gonna go for Ace I'm still Rolling confused, next. are you kidding me? I'm going for Ace Roll next. How many turns have I been confused? It doesn't matter, I guess, because I'm busting through the Lucky Duckies. But you're going for Ace Roll next. I'm going for Ace Roll next because All I right. feel like I can make it work. I think that's actually going to be the toughest one for me, the Ghost Type Lady, who we've actually met a couple of times before, with that Mimikyu trial. Oh, I actually just mentioned that was one of my favorite moments. So this thing is scary, dude. Be looks careful. like we have a rematch against her. All right, I'm gonna go for the Thunder. Oh if this my hits, goodness! Oh, Lucky Duckies, dude, come on! All right. No! Oh, no! No! The first no! You time. hope, dude. This is this the first time. Oh, I went for Screech. Okay. okay, that's not too bad. Oh my goodness. I think I'm just gonna get out of here, man. I am not taking anything with a Screech after that. How many turns have I been confused, though? For real, I feel like it's been forever. Um, 
Let me see. Can I, I bring actually out... think, uh, oh yeah, everything is weak to the grass, dude. You're gonna get hit with that bullet seed. Yeah, I guess. Oh my gosh, you're right. Because ice is not like ice versus grass either. Okay, I think I don't think it's going for bullet seed right now though. So let me just bring out the wall rain and the beak blast. Okay. Woo. Woo. That's gonna hurt. Yes, it will. Oh my Ooh. gosh. Oh my. Dude, if this thing Z powers this, the Beak Blast, I'm done. Okay, so he's probably gonna Z move now, I would think. Yeah, I guess it's I just have to heal. I think it would still take me out, though. I think the only chance you have of living the Z move is with uh, Jolteon, but Jolteon's frail. The only reason why I'm suggesting is because you would at least resist the hit. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna just try Cause you it. you know that Z move's coming right now. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna kill the Oli, though, so let me let me just switch out here. I think this is the only thing you can do, because everything dies, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm, and then at least I can not, I'm not confused anymore, so is it coming? Of oh, course it's, it's coming. coming. Here it this is. It's gonna hurt. You might Come live, on. though. You might live because you resist. <sighs> You might live because you resist. One like equals one prayer, guys. I need all the help oh, I can get man. here. Come on. Supersonic Sky Strike. And this is so hilarious, the two cannon just... Oh, God. Do you, ah! You're going to live? I don't think so, but I hope so. No, Darwin! Oh. oh! I didn't think I would live, and I didn't. And that's my first Pokemon down to the first Elite Four. Oh, man. And I know this thing has Rock Blast, too, so I don't even know if Kurama is the best to go out for here. But I gotta try something. I gotta, oh my gosh, this is gonna be really tough, man. I wish it had Blizzard. If I had Blizzard, I know I could one-shot it, but um, no TMs, of course. And Blizzard, it only learns it through TMs, so I guess, I don't know if I can survive a hit. I could nasty block. You're definitely block. faster, you're definitely faster. Yeah, I know I'm faster, but I guess, yeah, I guess it's just better to go for it. I'm not gonna risk nasty plotting and then die in one shot. So let's just go for it, and oh, oh, it goes for Screech. Okay, All right, so I'm good, good then. I'm good. You are. I good. did lose Darwin though, which is definitely not good. One Pokemon down to the first Elite Four. I feel like that's not the best start I could have had there, but that Beak Blast Sky Strike, man, it's too powerful. All right, no duckies, no duckies. Give me that lucky ducky. Come oh. on, Mimic you. Uh. Come on, Mimic you. Get Dude, through. Is, oh, nice. Everything in this Elite Four so far is like just confused they us. They just man. hax you, man. They just hax you. I'm, I'm actually annoying. plowing through Easter Roller right now with Mimic you. <laughs> That's good. I need it. I need it. All right. Well, I managed to take her down. I think I'm going to go for Olivia next because I do have a couple of Pokemon that are good against her. Um, the only downside is my Wall Rain is weak to rock, so I don't know. I might try out Hala. I'm not sure. I'm debating Hala or Olivia. I do think I'm going to leave Acerola for last, though, because she's pretty tough. Hmm. I'm debating on what I think this Polisane is going to do right now. All right. I'm going into N. I'm going to go into my man N. It's time. All right. All right. I think well, Cat is too valuable. One down and three to go. And as for my Pokemon, one down, five you to go. For Iron Defense. Okay. All right, I can dig that. Well, it looks like I have a Golem on the field, but it is not a Golem, my friends. What is it, Dan? It is. Is it Zoroaku? It is Zoroaku. Night, so cool. night days. All right, let me see. I know that uh, Olivia starts off with a Relicant, so would be pretty nice to lead off with the Nautilus here. Oh my God! What? Rakisha? What? No, that's not even Rakisha. That's Zorok. N. It went for Dude. A, just a regular Earth Power, and it bodied me. Oh my goodness, dude! What even was that? What's up with it, N? I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> I dude. guess we're down one each now. This is really rough, man. All right, I'm about to head into this. Olivia, welcome to the rock chamber. I'm ready to get rocked, Olivia. I wouldn't mind if it was you, but I think I'm gonna be the one that has to rock you this time. I, what are I, you gonna do, man? I what are you gonna do? I don't know, man. I don't know. I I did not expect to lose a Pokemon right there. Well, at least it's to Acerola, so you know it's not like that's the one you needed N for the most, I think, right? Yeah, and then just died to a Polisand, uh, so I don't really know what that was about. Oh man. Well, we're both I'm down one Pokemon guy. at least. I am not a happy guy right now after that. I'm not very happy either. I, I did lose my Jolteon, and I feel like that would have been pretty helpful against maybe the champ. Drifflim's the final thing. Okay. What right. do I think Drift Blim's gonna use? Here we go. The right, sexy Kahuna in, herself. I'm going into Rakisha. Do you think this thing has a. Which one has a Z move? I don't even know which one Ace Roll has that has a Z move. Um, I don't think it's Drift I don't think Blim. it's Drift Blim. She has one more Pokemon. Whatever that last one is, is probably. I, th I think it. it's actually uh, the Anchor. Oh, really? I she think has the that's Anchor? That's the one. Yeah, she does oh. have it. I think that's the one that has the Z move. 
this relicant going for the yawns. Come on, man. You can't you can't put an anchor to sleep. This thing's not even a real wow. thing. All right, so I got through Acerola because I'm about to destroy with a Continental Crush, but <laughs> my goodness, dude. You did lose N. I lost N. I wasn't expecting to lose N. Hopefully I don't lose anybody else here. Oh my goodness, of course, the Lycanroc. And I know this thing for sure has the Z move, so you know what? I'm gonna go for my own. Who do you think will win the battle of the Z moves? Here we go. Oh, he goes for crunch. Oh, I think, I, that I might think actually... live it though. Come on. Yeah, nice job, good. Nautilus, tanking it up. And here we go, man, my own Z move. Crush. This is totally gonna destroy I like it. like that. Ding, ding. I kind of wanted to take your suggestion and put the Grazium Z, but... Well, this guess, will work too. Yeah, this will work too. And it does get stabbed. It'll, from it'll it. knock him out either so, way, so you're good. Let's go. Plus, I kind of like this animation more than the Grazium one. I don't know. The Bloom Doom is a little bit lame, honestly. <laughs> but there we go. I love how you Bam. just like, drill him from the top to you afterwards. It's like the double drills, dude. So, is that the, her Zemon? Do you know? Yep, that is definitely her Zemon. The thing is, I was yawned, so yeah. Good thing I went for that Core Screw Smash before Nautilus fell asleep. Now, Carbink. Okay, that'll get Anchor Shot in. This you're about to get. Yeah, I think you could definitely full restore it. I don't mm -hmm. think he can really do much to you, so. Yeah, I'm not usually scared of carvings. I've actually, that used to be my, uh, when X and Y first came out, and I started playing competitive, my strategy was the double walls carving. So, and that's exactly what she's got. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Olivia annoying. and I were made for each other, man. That's definitely Even though annoying. I'm, I think I might be how, but. <laughs> All right, let's anchor shot this bad boy. I'm trying to think of what I can do against Olivia. Oh, so that's so. who I go next. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go after. Um, I oh, think I'm actually, going it's for, not gonna get one shot. I'm gonna go for Hala next and Olivia okay. last. That'll be my okay. decision. You think Olivia will be your toughest one? I do, actually, I do. Well, so far it hasn't been terribly tough for me, but definitely my team is a little bit better for handling rock types, I guess. Um, I am very nervous about Acerola, though. I don't know, man. I think that's gonna be the toughest for me, so I'll leave that one for last, but. I still got two more Pokemon to take out here, and next up is Probo Pass. Is this thing Rock and Steel, right? Yeah, Rock and huh. Steel. So I guess I don't think it would have anything too bad against uh, the Iron Giant here. Let's bring him out. Definitely got the Earthquake, so no longer the Stomping Tantrum, I think it was called, which was actually a really powerful attack. I never used it before, but oh, nice! Went for the Thunder Wave. All right. I don't think it's got anything. Yeah, you could just earthquake. Take it me it out. gets just destroyed by earthquake. Does it have, have sturdy though? Yeah, I think it does have sturdy. sturdy, which means she will definitely. Oh, actually. Wow. Okay. That's four times super effective. <laughs> that works too. out for me though, because she doesn't have the forest door now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, that's better than hitting the sturdy, because she would have healed up the full. Oh, her reflect. She had reflect. Oh, okay. That makes okay. sense. Well, this is it for Pro Pass, and I think her last Pokemon. I actually forgot what it is. I feel like I should know. Considering how many times I fought her before, but <laughs> oh man, I actually don't remember whatever though Hopefully, it's something that iron giant can take out. I have the heavy slam too. So oh the alolan golem. Oh oh Well, this definitely doesn't have anything to deal with me. So Goodbye rakisha too. Oh my goodness. You just plowed through olivia with those earthquakes, dude Oh, yeah, I don't think i'm gonna have quite Ooh. the oh, it's got sturdy I don't know okay. if i'm gonna quite have that same luxury. I'm very nervous Oh, the steamroller. Steam that's not going to do anything. The heck you. is that? You actually uh, resist by quite a <laughs> bit there. All right. Well, I know she's got the full restore. She's totally going to so. full restore it yep. <laughs> into Earthquake. It's into all right, focus, man. I think sturdy. I should have this battle, but we both did lose one Pokemon. I don't think we expected that either of us, right? <laughs> mm -mm. I can't believe I, I like N just straight up died to a Polisane Earth Power. Just a regular Earth Power. Mm. That was it. Just a regular old Earth Power. Like, I know N is kind of frail, but like, come on. I guess that's like, it shows you, man. Maybe it's the nickname. Like, you know, the trainer and himself is pretty frail, so giving it that nickname might have made it even worse. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't All know right. if going for hammer arm was the best play there, but. Yeah, it's whatever, man. <laughs> saving, saving her with quick PP, I guess. Yeah, I guess uh, that's fair. Fair anyway, enough. I'll get to heal up after the battle anyway, so that oh, should man, be it. Dude. I'm this so nervous, man. I'm so nervous. I'm really nervous for Hala, actually. Like, today. I definitely went for the two easiest ones and still managed to lose a Pokemon. So it is definitely going to be tough with these next two Elite Four, but you can definitely check those out on Dan's channel because I believe that is going to be it for us today. That is it, guys. We took down two of the Elite Four, two more to go, and then the champion. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let us know what your favorite moment has been in the playthrough so far. Was it the death of Ed? <laughs> 
the death of Darwin. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> but let us know, and we will catch you in the next episode of the Egg Cage Lock. Peace.